My name's Dan Barrett and I'm Systems Integration Manager for Hitachi Rail Europe. I joined Hitachi in 2007 uh, and I was the Engineering Manager for the Class 395 Javelin units. There was a real passion exhibited by everybody that was on the project and when you work in an environment like that it, it spurs you along, it keeps you going, it keeps your interest absolutely 100% all the time. The fact that it was new, it was the first time Hitachi had come to the UK with a brand new train and so we had the opportunity to put in place systems and measures to make sure that we did things perhaps a bit differently than had been done in the past, to make things better. It takes hundreds of people to design a train, uh, being all the engineers, uh, that work for Hitachi and all the engineers who are subsystem suppliers. So it's a very, very big task. What makes some trains better than others is the ability to reliably transport passengers on a day-to-day -day basis between home and work or home and relatives or wherever. And to do that, as I said, reliably, safely, have a system that you can rely on so that you know that when you turn up at the, at, the, at the station the train will be there, it will be clean, all of the systems on board will work which are important to you as a passenger. So the toilet systems, the, uh, the power system so you can plug in your laptop. They're the things, the air conditioning systems which are on the train. So in the summertime you, know, you, you get to work and you're not feeling sweaty and, and horrible you're there, you're fresh, you get off the train and you're ready for a day's work. So that for me is what is key to a reliable and good quality train. When we went into service in 2009, we were immediately hit with some of the worst weather that the South East had seen in, uh, in 20 years. And so um, that's a very challenging um, introduction for these trains into service. However, they performed superbly. And in fact, at some stages, we were the only trains running around on the Southeast network. That was a real uh, testament to high quality engineering and also um, the experience that we have from producing trains which run in very extreme conditions. The 395 runs in a six car formation. And what happens is one comes from one part of the county the other part comes from another line in the county and they meet at Ashford International Station. And at Ashford International Station, those two trains couple together and we can couple together in less than 60 seconds. And this ability to couple quickly and uncouple quickly gives the operators far more flexibility in how they use the trains. They're a unit which can take people which live in in areas which are not serviced directly by the high speed line and it can move people from those areas to the high speed line in Ashford and get those people to London in very short periods of time. We also have um, the European uh, train control system fitted to the units. This, these systems will enable trains to cross borders. The potential is there to be able to travel all around Europe and Rather than having to make train uh, changes at different stations, you'll be able to get onto a train and just go to your direct destination. One of the things we do at Hitachi is we manufacture our own HVAC systems. The benefit is that we can control them intelligently. It's a little bit like the thermostat in your house. You can turn the system down when you don't need it. But at the same time, in the morning when the trains need to start up and be ready for service, we can start the air conditioning systems up or the heating systems up early and we can make sure that the trains are at the right temperature for when they go into service. When we sell trains, they have to be delivered on time and they have to work out of the box. And therefore it takes dedicated individuals who understand the challenges of their work, have experience of working on previous rolling stock design projects and when all of that comes together, um, it works very well. And that was certainly what happened on Class 395. 